Imagine a world where robots and AI perform 85% of all surgical procedures. That's the prediction for 2050 according to a recent study. This startling statistic, if realized, will forever reshape the landscape of healthcare as we know it. We are standing on the cusp of a revolution in medicine, one where robotics and automation take center stage. The potential benefits of this shift are immense. Think of the precision that a machine can offer, the ability to execute delicate procedures with an accuracy that surpasses the human hand. Consider the efficiency, with robots capable of working tirelessly, around the clock, without the risk of fatigue. Moreover, imagine a healthcare system that is streamlined, reliable and consistently accurate, an environment where human error is minimized and patient safety is prioritized. Intriguing, isn't it? But how will we get there? Let's hear from the experts. We have spoken to leading experts in the field to understand the future of robotics and automation in healthcare. And the insights we gathered are nothing short of extraordinary. Let's take a deep dive into what they had to say. To begin, the advancements in robotics and automation are revolutionizing healthcare, promising to make it safer, more efficient, and more personalized. Dr. Evelyn Chambers, a renowned bioengineer, points out that robots are increasingly being used for tasks such as dispensing medication, transporting supplies, and even assisting in complex surgeries. These robots, she says, are not only reducing human error, but also freeing up healthcare professionals to focus on what they do best, patient care. However, with these advancements comes a set of challenges. Software engineer Michael Rodriguez warns us of the potential risks associated with technology. The more we rely on robots and automated systems, the more vulnerable we become to cyber attacks. Yet he assures us that with robust security measures and regular system updates, these risks can be mitigated. But what about the ethical implications? Professor Alice Whitman, a philosopher specializing in technology ethics, raises interesting questions. For instance, who is responsible when a robot makes a mistake? Is it the manufacturer, the healthcare provider, or the robot itself? And how do we ensure that the use of automation doesn't lead to job displacement? These are questions we must grapple with as we move towards a more automated future. Despite these challenges, the experts agree that the benefits of incorporating robotics and automation in healthcare far outweigh the potential drawbacks. According to Dr. Chambers, the key is to strike a balance. She says, we need to embrace these technologies, but we also need to put in place safeguards to ensure they're being used responsibly. From these insights, it's clear that the future of healthcare is both exciting and complex. We have a lot to look forward to, but we also have much to consider as we navigate this new frontier. Let's continue the conversation and work together to shape a future where technology serves us, not the other way around. From these insights, it's clear that the future of healthcare is both exciting and complex. As we stand on the brink of a revolution in healthcare, what are your thoughts? This isn't just a rhetorical question we genuinely want to hear from you. Your perspective is important because it's the collective thoughts and ideas of people like you that will shape the future of healthcare. Imagine a world where robots assist in surgeries with precision that surpasses the human hand. Or a world where automation streamlines administrative tasks, giving healthcare professionals more time to focus on patient care. What does that look like to you? What are the benefits and what challenges could we face? Are you excited by the potential of robotics and automation in healthcare, or does it raise concerns for you? How do you think these advancements could impact your profession or the patient experience? Comment below to join the conversation. And remember, the future of healthcare could be in your hands.